welcome to the next part of my Barbados vlog. I'm about to head to the pool just to wait until everyone else is ready to go to the beach. And I'm finally out of quarantine, so I'm gonna tell you guys all about the Barbados protocol once I get over to the pool. I don't wanna waste any time. The sun is out, sun is hot. And I need to say it. So I'm all dressed and ready to go. But before I head out, I have to use my Dossier perfume. Today I'm going with Woody Sage. I've been kind of going back with Floriental Coconut and Woody Sage, but I haven't talked about this Woody Sage perfume. Um, if you guys don't know already, Dossier perfume is a perfume brand that specializes in luxury perfume, but at affordable prices. So you can get all of your favorites, you can get Tom Ford, Joe Malone, YSL, all that at a discounted price. And if you use my code, NIAG10, you can get 10% off as well as 20% off or a total of 30% off when you get a welcome to the family discount. The main notes of this perfume are fig tree, sage, and amber wood. This is a unisex perfume. It smells so good. Woody Sage is a really good daytime scent. So, if you wanna wear this during the day, you can even use it as a transition shade from like evening to nighttime or afternoon to nighttime. It's really good. Like it smells so good. And since it's unisex, it's really easy to blend with whatever the occasion is. So you can switch it up. Such a beautiful scent, especially for the beach. And this is something chill and it's very like strong and lightweight like it lasts all day but it's also like not too overbearing but it's definitely a very chill scent so i'm gonna spray it at you know the the area they say to spray perfume at the areas where you attract the most heat so i'm gonna spray it behind my ears on my wrist and you don't rub it together because that will mess with the notes and then you spray it like if you want you can spray it under your cleavage you can spray it behind your legs things like that but i'm not going to do that because i'm about to put on um sunscreen so that's gonna defeat the purpose but i love this perfume this is a dupe of the joe malone woody sage and sea salt and that retails for about a hundred dollars the other perfume that i absolutely love is the floriental coconut which is the tom ford um everything is going to be linked down below but make sure you use my code neag10 for 10 percent off and you get an extra 20% off when you create an account with Dossier. I'm currently at the Divi Southwinds Hotel, um, a different hotel than before. I don't know what order I'm putting everything up, but as you guys know, I had to quarantine for five days when I first got here. I had to take a COVID test before getting on the flight. And all through the TSA security process, I had to show my negative COVID test, my passport, all that regular stuff. Um, on day four, we took COVID tests, and once we all were confirmed negative, then we could roam around the hotel um, and all that. We had to check in two times a day on the BIM Safe app. Um, we had to put in our temperature anywhere that we went on the well, even now, everything you have to check your temperature. Um, what else? Oh yeah, so we checked in regularly. We had to report that there were no symptoms um, and it had our location. So they just made sure that we were within the hotel area. But now we can still go everywhere. There is a mask mandate. There's no one outside. So um, there is someone outside, but he's back there. Um, there's no one outside. So I didn't have my mask on, but you have to wear a mask everywhere, vaccinated or not, but yeah, I just walked over to the pool. There's very few things um, open. There's still a curfew. On the weekend, it's 12 p.m. And during the week, I believe it's 7 p.m. But that's like for different places. Like the beach isn't open past um, 7. I'm in the perfect sunspot. But yeah, there's other things open. Like usually out here, they have like a cabana and stuff. Like there's things over this way i'll show you guys later um that are normally open and they have like bars and drinks and food and stuff that you can order to you at the pool or at the beach but a lot of that stuff is closed there is one place that's open um that we're gonna be going to in the next few days but yeah right now i'm at the pool that's pretty much all of the protocol today i'm just going to the beach tonight i'm going out 
um, with my cousins that live here. Um, tomorrow, like I have a few more things to do. I'm gonna show you guys all that fun stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. And of course, Barbados is beautiful as always. Like look at the trees. I was out here last night as the sun was setting. There were monkeys up in that tree fighting. Like I love it here so much. It's such a beautiful vacation spot and I love that they're taking like their precautions seriously. Like you can't go anywhere without them making sure that you're not getting their people sick. They have a very small island and a very low infection rate and I'm so proud of them for that. My scenery, there's no one else out here so I'm about to play my music out loud. The water is fresh water so it's not salty, it's not full of chlorine all natural look at this skin check out my skincare routine i recorded that and uploaded it while i've been here i'm like golden i'm trying to be like two or three shades darker before i leave and i don't want to get burnt so i have so much sunscreen and i haven't tanned as much as i thought i would have already but i have a week left here so we'll see just like lines right there the beach here used to be perfect no seaweed no nothing but like all the little shops are open i'm gonna show you guys like me look at how pretty you can see my toes in the water like get splashed that hard. Look at this water. I got splashed by all the waves. But it's not going up too far, which is good. They got these people in here, they got their dogs. I was at the pool for two whole hours, literally just tanning. Like I got a little gold, so I guess I got the surface. And I put on more sunscreen because I'm not trying to get burnt. Like, that's the last thing I want right now. The last thing I need right now is to get burnt like halfway through vacation. I want to take pictures. I don't really have anyone to take pictures of me. People that don't like taking pictures of themselves, like they never want to take pictures of me. So I need to, I'm setting up travel applications. If you want to travel with me, you've got to take my pictures. That is the number one requirement. You can't be a picky eater. And you gotta wanna have fun. Like, that's the bottom line. So you gotta wanna take pictures, and I'll take good pictures of you. You can't be a picky eater, and you gotta wanna have fun. Before the water washes it away. Not even a minute later. It has like ginger sprinkled at the top. It tastes so good. That freak is always was over there taking pictures of me. I was walking to go get my drink. And yeah, look at him, disgusting. Sent us drinks. Oh, Shayna likes it. She's allergic to pineapple, so let's pray for her. <laughs> <laughs> I stayed in that hotel about two years ago, and then right there is a ship that. I'm gonna try to get a better view, but yeah, so this is the beach. It's everything. To head out.
The mirror is so dirty. I don't know when it got dirty because what the frick? But okay. Yeah. This is the dress. It's cross. Oh, I think our bride is here. And yeah, I'll take more pictures. Oh look. Say hi Shayna. <laughs> hi. <laughs> <laughs> Is he here? Yeah. Okay. So, this is the back of the dress from Shein. Of course, I'll link it. And yeah. It's really a vlog, oh my god. Anyway, I know. Is it good? <laughs> on a leash at these people house we just made it to St. Martin's Bay look at Shayna from the park um this is a tavern we're right on the beach we're parking like it's just trees I'm gonna shake it like it's just uh -uh. and then this is it again and they serve fresh food okay, this is my food I got red snapper macaroni and ginger ale because I didn't want anything to drink because my stomach was still kind of hurt. Yesterday I got, barely got any pool time, so I'm making up for it today before we go on the rum tour. Um, I'm up early, it's literally 8 in the morning, I'm up for like 2 hours, I'm waiting for the sun to hit perfectly. I barely got any pool time yesterday, so I'm trying to make up for it, so I need to be tan by the time I'm back in New York. Uh, my favorite spot, there's like shade right there. I don't want shade. I don't need shade. My home is still over there. I'll sit over here. Right here's perfect. No, it's not. I need to feel hot when I'm sitting. So I'll go right. No. I can like feel the sun shift as I walk around. I found the perfect spot. Like I think that someone's just trying to settle basically. But yes, my bathing suit is so cute. It's a high cutout. I have a bunch of pictures on my Instagram. I wore this um, last year in Mexico, literally right before the pandemic. So I have a bunch of pictures in this already. Um, it's not the best for tanning because it's high waist. So as you guys know, my tan is gonna be like, like the bottom of my stomach is gonna be lighter than the top, but I really wanted to wear it at least one time. So I figured why not just wear it right now. And then I'll even my tan out later like tomorrow or something but yes yeah, from asos i'm gonna make sure if it's still on the website i'll link it down below so you guys can get it um because i love this bathing suit and people always compliment it when i wear it i'm just looking at the beautiful view see the sun moving again look at my little toesies man it's so cool um so i think they just finished cleaning it because the stuff from the trees like falls in the pool but i love it here the Mount Gay Rum Tour. It is 
in Barbados, Monkey is the original official rum of Barbados. It's only made here. We went on the tour and they gave us the history of Mount Gay and the rum and all showed us all of the award winning rums that they have here. Um, and told us a lot of cool fun facts about it and then at the end of the tour we got to taste test a bunch of different proofs that they had available for us that they actually sell they had a gift shop and then the tour ended with a meal and a nice little movie before the meal to show us a quick rundown of the history and it was so amazing only fifty dollars for all that i mentioned and we'll show you guys the rest in this one. I literally forgot that I was supposed to be vlogging today, but I just did a rum tour and I TikToked all of it. I don't know why Shane is hiding. Ain't nobody trying to record her. But um, yeah, I recorded all of it on TikTok. But when I'm like leaving, I'll show you guys everything in there. So our tour came with, you know, obviously a tour of the facility, the history of making rum, and you know, we did a tasting test at the end and all the rooms were mostly pretty good we had about like four or five shots and now we're getting a meal along with our tour i think the tickets were fifty dollars each so it's five of us that came today and yeah like it was fun it was nice i like this this is our food that's a chicken breast as you can see that's a fish there goes the fish head i love fish head um rice and a plantain and our chef is right there and his apprentice his name is gregory and yeah gift shop they have all these different rums this is that exo this is the last shot that we had it's really great quality they don't export it to a lot of places the u.s being one of them because the tax is way too high they have them in these containers that of course you keep and you age even if you drink the wine you I mean alcohol you keep it rum cake they have the spoons they have the gift bags Bajan sauce Bajan hot sauce rum hot sauce they have these pictures here and then these shelves it's really beautiful to look at it's like a classic collection but obviously this is all for sale this is how much it costs us and barbados so barbados money is double i don't know if i've told you guys that um this xo bottle so i could buy it here and bring it to the u.s but i couldn't buy it in the u.s and it's going to be duty free which is tax free and it wouldn't be tax free otherwise if i bought it in the states the light flickering was actually kind of annoying but here they have a bar where they served us our welcome drink. And this is inside where we sat. This would be nice to throw a little brunch dinner party. And there's a little stage back there. This is dessert. It looks so good. Ice cream, chocolate cake, a clementine. I'll eat it for you. I'm having the best time ever. Look at Shayna. I owe Shayna because I forced her to go out with me last night and I didn't vlog it because I'm a terrible vlogger. So I owe her one. I actually owe her two, but that's a, that's a separate story for another day. <laughs> it is not chocolate cake, it's rum cake. I don't know why I didn't put that together. This is actually my first time having rum cake. So they told me to cut it down the middle where the most flavor is. It's really soft and moist and it doesn't like taste overwhelmingly like rum. Thank you. It's good. It's like chocolate cake, but better. But I like chocolate cake. Here we're at the boat yard. It was $30 US per person. It's usually only $25. We got there just in time for happy hour. They give us a $45 food and drink voucher. So we got drinks and food all covered under our voucher. There's water sports, there's a trampoline in the water, um, rock climbing, there's also snorkeling. I'm going to show you guys how to do that because we, of course, don't want to go on our phones. But it's such a fun thing to do, and you can literally spend it all day there. Open from early morning to 9 p.m. That is activity 
beers and unlimited drinks and food. So we're at the boat yard. We've been here for hours. So look, this is where we're at. It's $30 US, 60 Barbados. We swam, we jumped off of there, swam there. We were on the trampoline with some kids. They were so cute for like an hour. Jumped off and swam back. And now we're about to get some food. We had drinks. I'm gonna show you guys the drinks and everything. I'm gonna just put a bunch of clips in, but yeah. I love it here. I'm gonna give you guys all the information, all the places I've been at in the comments. And you guys can just ask and I'll just tell you. There's a bar right up there. And this is where we're sitting. It's closed. It's only open at half capacity, so barely anyone. The beach usually is filled with people. Let's see. Yeah. It's called the boat yard. So how you feeling? Me? How you feeling? Oh, good, I'm great. Wanna get back in? I might. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> that water took me out. Look, I don't think. <laughs> no, I keep falling. We were on the trampoline in the water. And the kids were bouncing me. And I was literally flopping like a fish. But I, I was cold in the water. It's getting like kind of breezy, windy. It's almost five o'clock. It's actually not. It's like four fifteen. Oh, it's 4.40, so it's almost 5 o'clock. Yeah, I love this bathing suit. Check out my little haul that I did. I'm going to tag it. I'm going to link it. I love this bathing suit. It's giving Barbie. And I took some pictures. Hopefully, I'll freaking post them. I have so many pictures I haven't posted. Bam. I love it. All food retailers should be allowed to operate on Sundays. Made it known what they did not I'm ending my vlog here. It's Tuesday. Um, it's really been down for a couple of days. I haven't really vlogged. I'm sitting by the pool right before I have to leave. Um, check out is at 11. My plate is at 3. So, yeah, but I had so much fun. I did everything I did. I'll be posting on TikTok. Um, if it's not in the vlog, everything that I wore will be listed down below in the comments. And of course, you guys can ask me more questions if you have any. I'll be vlogging all summer. It's supposed to be a vlog channel. Um, and yeah, so stay tuned for more. Thank you so much for watching. My TikTok is Nia2G. Uh, my Instagram is m1a.g, which you guys already knew that. And also check out my Pinterest, The Nia G Life. Um, it'll all be linked down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next vlog.